Have you seen The Greatest Showman? If you haven't, you've got to go and see this movie. It is amazing. I went to see this film a few months ago now and I've been meaning to get a project up for you guys to see. After watching this film, I was, I was just mesmerised. It is such a feel-good film. I wasn't too sure whether or not to go and see it in the early stages um, because, you know, it's a bit of a musical and I thought, well, I'm not really into musicals, but I went to see it anyway because I thought, let's go and check it out. Heard a few good things about it. I went there and it's just absolutely am amazing. I was in awe of the whole film. I can't describe it. You've got to really go and watch it. I've now seen it three times. <laughs> and after watching it, I thought to myself, I want to make a project based around this film, just to show you guys, to try to get you to go and watch this film. All the way through the film, I just thought to myself, I want to create a project around this film and to show everyone what a great film this is and show you how it's really made me feel and loads of other people, no doubt. And the main thing I took away from this film is, this is me. Don't worry about what everyone else thinks. This is you and just be proud of yourself. The show's about believing in yourself, about being yourself. It's about just being you. This is me. So if anything, by the end of this show, I can get you to go and watch The Greatest Showman or hopefully I can inspire you and make you happy today. So without further ado, ladies and Gentlemen, this is the show that you've been waiting for. Okay, so there's the base of what we're going to be making. So I'll shine this up, put some uh, two coats of chestnut um, sand and cedar on this. We put one coat of uh, Yorkshire grit on uh, and that's come up really well and then finished it off with the old uh, Sheila wax or Shella wax. Um, so um, that's basically finished really just for us to now flip over and put it back in the chuck and then we're going to start making this piece.
Well that was a long old process, but we're done. Let's have a look what this looks like now with this off. <laughs> look at that, eh? That's not bad. I kind of like that. So I'm just going to take this off of here because we don't really need this bit on the end. So I'm just going to cut that off because it is a bit too long. So let's get that taken off probably with a knife. Then we carry on. Okay, so we've made this bit now and we made the base. Um, I put a candle in it, as you saw, but it um, doesn't really have the same effect that it did in the film. Obviously, they must have used some kind of special effects. But the idea, obviously, is this piece, is this contraption, is sits on here like this, and you spin it, and it gives a nice effect of the light inside. This is a fishing machine. The candle just isn't strong enough, so what I'm going to have to try and do is find some kind of different light to fit into here, and hopefully it will work. It almost works. And there it is, the wishing machine from The Greatest Showman. I know it's not the best project, but I really just wanted to make this because again, you know, I was so inspired by the film and it was the only real thing within the film that I could kind of replicate for you. It resembles the wishing machine a little bit. It was quite hard to try to find the kind of like picture of it because they only show a few shots of it in the film. And I think obviously what they did is they enhanced it quite a lot uh, when it's like kind of going across the sheets. Um, I tried to replicate that here and it didn't quite have the effect. 
definitely didn't have it with the uh, candle. So what I did do, which I did off camera, was I got basically these two little lights. So I don't know if you can see them there. Two little lights here and these little baby LEDs that run up the stem um, of this of this metal bar. Um, and that seems to create a much better effect uh, than the candle. But obviously within the film they put the, he put the candle in, uh, which I filled up with that because I drilled that hole out earlier on. So, um, just so it wasn't a big hole there. Um, but um, again, because obviously they use special effects and things like that, I think obviously that was generated more so with that as opposed to actually in real life. But I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you kind of have got some sort of idea now about how this show is and what this show is about because it is a really great show and I definitely think and recommend that you should go and see it. Again, I'm sorry if some of you don't like the film or if some of you don't like the project because again, it's probably not the best project in the world but I really, really wanted to do this um, and I just hope that you enjoyed watching it and more so, hope you enjoyed watching the film or hope you do enjoy. <coughs> On another note, I might not be able to get a project up next Friday because it's the weekend of Makers Central. I think it's the weekend of Makers Central. And there are so many things going on this week and next week. I was lucky enough to kind of get this one up, really. This one I kind of started making a little while ago, um, at, but needed a bit of preparation and a bit of thinking of how to actually get this to work properly. Um, but I managed to finish this, so if you don't see a video next week, I do apologise. Um, I do try and put videos up every single Friday and the occasional Wednesdays. Because the run of the show is pretty soon, it takes quite a while to prepare these videos and edit them and, and do everything that needs to be done to get a video up. So again, it, it might be very likely that you won't see a video. I'll be back. Um, and obviously you'll hopefully see some live streams or bits and pieces of us doing some uh, doing some stuff at Maker Central anyway. Again, I do hope that you like the project and I do hope that you've been inspired at least to go and watch it. It's a very powerful movie and I guarantee you'll love it. And yes, I bought the outfit just for this video. I just want to say thanks very much for everyone that's joined me on the channel. Thanks so much for all of your support. I'm going to be doing some really cool giveaways. I'm getting pretty close now to 100,000 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy. So what I thought I'd do is when we hit 100,000, I'm going to do some really cool giveaways. Not one, not two, not three, not four, maybe five, or maybe even six giveaways. And I'm going to put some really cool things in there because you guys have supported me and I want to try and give back as much as I can to you guys. So I'll come up with some really, some really cool giveaways and we'll, do, and we'll do that when I hit 100,000, which is probably not far away. So I hope to see some of you at Makers Central. If you haven't heard about it, please check out the link below. It's a show that we're putting on in a couple of weeks' time in Birmingham at the NEC. Please come and join us. Come and see hundreds of other makers it's going to be a really cool show so i guess that just leaves me to say thank you for joining me on my channel i hope you have a fantastic happy weekend and remember be proud of who you are don't worry about what anyone else thinks all you need to say is this is me. Don't forget to make a wish.